Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. Today we've got an interesting little project. We're going to work on the tail wheel gear doors, and that's uh, this is one of them right here. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a modification on it, basically because I can't help myself. It's fun to do little bits of modifications and sometimes a uh, little bit of improvements on things if uh, you think that there's an area that uh, would better suit your build when you're building an aircraft. And so in this case, uh, Titan gives you these uh, gear doors for the back and uh, they're well formed, uh, have a great little hem seam at the end and they are uh, ready to then have these uh, hinge points put on them, which you can see two of them like this. Each of the hinge points go together like this. They get placed in here and then that goes to a rod which causes the gear door to come up and down with the tail wheel. Now the only issue with this that some builders have reported is that you do have a little bit of flex. This is made out of pretty thin aluminum and so if you're pulling at this, this one point towards the front, you have the ability of having a little bit of flex here. Now you don't get much of it, but um, we always need with this uh, V8 engine that we're putting on the front more weight in the tail anyway. So instead of just doing ballast, I thought, let's stiffen this up. So an idea that I had to do this is to take a sheet of metal, which I've already gone and cut here, and this is 032 aluminum, and I'm gonna put, I put a bent in, uh, a 90 degree angle on one end and a little bit like a 10 degree angle on the other end. Now you see you have this nice curve on this sheet. By doubling this up in the middle, just sandwiching this piece right in here, what you get is essentially a box structure. So you come down and you go straight across here, as you can see it. I'm gonna give you a close up so you can actually see what this is doing. So this is all flat now, goes up 90 degrees, comes over and has a little bit of an angle here to meet the bottom. And then the bottom is still perfectly curved. So what happens in a structure is that when you have a curved surface on one side and a flat surface, so you get hollow in the middle, if you secure this edge and this edge, at the end, you have something that essentially is a box and is extremely strong. And this one can't twist at all. So we get the benefit of having the weight towards the back of the aircraft. We get the benefit of a little more structure and strength in our tailwheel gear door. And so let's get to work building this for our T-51D Mustang. All right, so these are going to be the brackets that uh, grab on to the rod end, which pulls the gear doors up. And so we're using uh, different uh, brackets now because they have to go against that flat skin. So let's get them installed.
A little tricky, but it's good. What's wrong? What's tricky? It's just tricky to get them aligned to drill. Spitfire is so cool. I love watching that. All right, so Jake has uh, now already gone and mounted uh, the uh, uh, hinge points, uh, those brackets to the doubler. Uh, those are looking great, and now uh, it's time to do two things. We now do need to attach the doubler, and we also need to attach the halves of the hinges that are gonna go on both sides. And uh, so uh, I drew a little basic uh, outline, you can just barely see it, of where the hinge starts and stops. And now I need just to uh, measure out and get these put into place and uh, get our rivets so that we have our hinge doors ready to go. I'm going to start with a center line. Now I need to figure out what the spacing is going to look like.
All right, so another cool stage done in the building of our T51D Mustang. Oh yeah. So this time, tail wheel doors, and uh, next up is going to be Jake installing those. So oh, that's yeah. going to be your job. Yep, so it should be good. So there's going to be two stringers that we're going to fit with the doors on, and then that whole assembly will then go into the gear door well. Right, so that'll be pretty cool getting to see that actually work. And so this is the attachment points right here. We totally re-engineered this, uh, both of these doors, which was really just fun to do. Made them really strong and uh, um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty cool to actually see this, you know, in uh, in use. You mm -hmm. know, we will be able to hook up the hydraulics and actually pump the uh, the tailwheel down yeah. and up and and check it all out. Yeah. So until next time, be sure to subscribe and also, of course, go to socialflight.com and download the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. Tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations. We mm -hmm. use it every time that we fly. Right. Oh, yeah. So we try to make every weekend an adventure, and you can too. There's also our Fly to Win Challenge, tens of thousands of dollars of prizes. So lots and lots of very cool things going on. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon with Social Flight. This is Jake Simon, and that was Ben that you saw also working on this project, Blue Skies. Let's get in front of this thing. Oh, nice, a whole bunch of forgotten rivets. What? Did you forget the middle rivets? Oh. <laughs> it was just so strong without them. I figured, why not? And that is the moment that he knew he f***ed up. <laughs> You're pretty cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs>